Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey, hold on, y'all. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how to do the perfect roast chicken, y'all. I'm going to do it. Actually, I'm not going to do it in a roasting pan. I'm going to do it in a cast iron skillet in the oven. So, yeah, I know a lot of people love roast chicken, but I don't want no roast chicken that's dry or burn up anything like that so i'm gonna show y'all the perfect way to do a roast chicken i got chicken here it's a three pound chicken you get them three pounds two and a half pounds this is a three pound chicken wok it's a three in the in the culinary industry we call this a three up wok what that means three up means is three pounds and up wok means without giblets there's no giblets in here that's all there when you hear wok three up wok that means without giblets three pounds and up you got two pound two Two up walks, three up walks. That's what it means. So what I like to do, y'all, I like to put the wing behind the bird like this. And I'm going to tie the leg. Matter of fact, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some onions in here in the cavity. I'm going to put a few onions in the skillet over here. Y'all will see that later. And I'm going to put a few onions in the cavity. You can put celery in the cavity. You can put carrots in the cavity. What this is going to do, what this allows it to do when the onions cook, it's gonna allow the cavity, the breast to stay moist. So you put onion, celery, carrot, whatever you want in the, uh, in the cavity of the chicken. So I'm just gonna stuff some onions in there. And what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna tie the legs together. Get you some kitchen twine here. There's nothing perfect on this, y'all. Just tie one side and tie the other side and that's it. There's no fancy way to do this. Turn it over here where y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Put the leg like this. Put the other one on there like this. Y'all need to find another hole on y'all. I gotta find another string. There we go. Here we go. Get that string set up there, y'all. We're gonna go under. Under again. Catch that other string over there. We're just gonna tie it off just like that, y'all. Don't have to be fancy. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I want to dry this off because I'm going to put oil on here. And you already know oil and water don't mix. So I'm going to pat this dry as much as I can. All of a sudden, the oil everywhere, just as much as you can. Of course, you can't be perfect. The onion's falling out of there. Now, what I'm going to do, it's very simple, y'all. I'm going to put oil on it. I ain't find the way for I cut myself. All on the other side. And all it up really good there. What we gonna do here? We gonna grab a little spoon here, y'all. And we're gonna put some seasoning on here. I'm gonna season the back first. And that look like a lot of seasoning, y'all, but it really ain't. Because chicken, you really want to season it good. You want to have that good crust on there, y'all. As, it, as it's uh, roasting in the oven. Turn it over. You know, cabinet, you know my cabinets don't have a lot of salt in it. Nothing but flavor. And a little kosher salt and white pepper. And that's it, y'all. Now, the way. Knife out of the way, gonna stick it up there like this. It's gonna stick me. Okay, I got my cast iron skillet here. I'm gonna, these onions just wanna keep coming out, y'all. Hold on, keep these onions back in here. Keep these onions back in here, y'all. Now, all I'm gonna do, y'all, we're gonna lay it right on top of them onions in the cast iron skillet. 400 degrees. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees. About 30 minutes on 400. After 30 minutes, I like to turn it down and cook it another. It's going to take about an hour or 10. With this, about an hour or 10 to an hour and a half, depending on how your oven is. Usually it takes about an hour uh, for my oven. So I'm going to do 400 degrees, 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm going to turn it down to 350 and let it cook the rest of the way. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Once I get out of the oven, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. The chicken's out of the oven. And let me show y'all here. You, when you, how you know a chicken done? You stick it in the breast part of the meat. 
on the thickest part of the meat. Let me get it in there, y'all. And it should read 165. If you don't read 165, a chicken is not ready. So it should go up here. I want to put in the stick part of the meat here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Get it in the meat here. There we go. It should get all the way in the breast. Not on the outside, all the way in the breast of where it would be raw at. And right now it's 168. And 165, only 165 is ready. If it's higher than that, that's fine. But you don't want it no lower than 165. Some people do 160 and let it carry over. You can do that. But of course, it's going to get even more. This sets up, y'all. It's called carryover cooking. If it sets up, it's going to go up another 5 degrees after it sets out the oven. So that's why some people do 160 and let it carry over 165 so they don't overcook the breast. I know some chefs that do that, which it works. But I don't really take a chance on chicken breast. I like go 165. And I don't always temper it. I just kind of push it. And when the breast is firm, that's pretty much, uh, it, it's pretty much done. But you see how easy that is? In the oven, it took about, I just took an hour and 10 minutes in the oven 400 degrees y'all very simple very easy to roast the chicken you can roast it on a chicken rack you can do it on a rack or you can do it like i say in the uh in the skillet just like this and the juices be right there it doesn't matter so anyway i'm gonna step off do that world famous youtube thumbnail we're gonna come back and we're gonna try this nice juicy chicken we'll be right back all right y'all we back here okay y'all let me get my knife here y'all and we're gonna see how juicy Chicken is. Right, move normal, move y'all out the way. Now. Okay. All right. I already cut this a little, y'all, for for TV purpose. Y'all know I love the thigh and the leg. It's my favorite part of the chicken, y'all. The favorite part. Y'all look good at crispiness of that. Gonna cut into this, y'all. I'm being fancy, y'all. Being fancy. You see how hot that is. See how juicy that chicken is, y'all. Look at that. Perfect thing. Perfect here. Look at how juicy this chicken is. And it is hot. Woo! Definitely hot, y'all. Look at that. Chicken is hot. I'm not gonna stick the whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Perfectly seasoned. She is not dry, perfectly cooked. Mm. Nice roasted chicken. I like them pan juices too. I'll put in them juices in the pan. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's flavor too. Let me show y'all. I put my come off the bone, but See how juicy it is. But y'all know I like the skin. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. Mm, wow. I don't know some people are scared to roast the chicken. They overcook it. They undercook it. And they put it in the oven 400 degrees. Hour and a half, 30 minutes, cut it down 30. Total time, hour and a half. But 30 minutes, 400 degrees. After, after 30 minutes, turn it down, cook it the rest of the way, 300 degrees. Until it's 165. That's what you get. So, anyway, let me close the video out. Y'all know this is my favorite part of the chicken. The butt. My favorite part of the chicken right there. Okay, I'm going to close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow me on social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. My old school soul food .com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.